Hello, hello, Crafty Cradle fam. Today I am coming at you with a new art vlog starting in the middle of a lake. I am at a state park today, and so I am enjoying some kayaking, and then I'm going to do some hiking, and I plan on doing some plein air sketching of this gorgeous scenery. The water here is just so incredibly clear, you can see everything through it, and it is amazing. This is one of those truly inspiring places, and I am so happy and excited to bring you guys along with me. So let's get into it. This morning, I packed up a bunch of stuff, starting with a lunch for myself so that I didn't have to pay too much for food. I also packed a lot of art supplies. So my ELO sketchbook, some brushes, some uh, Spectrum Noir markers, and some polychromos colored pencils. I also packed, obviously, a bathing suit for swimming, a change of clothes for hiking, and my filming equipment to film a video for you guys. So, super excited, can't wait to enjoy this day, and I hope that you will enjoy coming along with me. It is absolutely crazy how quickly this drops off into just 195 uh, foot deep water. There's also some duckies over there. Very cute. So, having a great time marveling at this incredible lake. After I finished kayaking, I then went for a hike around this lake and also the other lake that there is at this state park. The other lake is not open for kayaking or fishing or anything, and it was absolutely breathtaking. It was only a short hike away, but the entire hike was absolutely beautiful with lake glimpses throughout the entire thing and just a few sections of straight wooden areas which were honestly equally as beautiful. I cannot express to you just how marvelous this place was. Look at that. That lake was so serene and so perfect. It was incredible. I also came across a lot of really great wildlife. The fish you could see so clearly through the lake and the birds sounded so beautiful. And of course, as promised, once I reached an area that I thought was good for painting, right in front of the other lake, I hungered down with my art supplies and got to work on a sketch from something that someone had said while I was kayaking. Unbeknownst to the ladies who were walking, they had a really brilliant idea for a painting. There I was kayaking and just minding my own business, having fun, when I hear a woman say, wow, this is the kind of lake that you look at and you want to jump in because you know that at the bottom is going to be Atlantis. And in that moment, I was like, wow, I know exactly what I'm going to paint. So precisely that is what I chose to paint. And then even better, the woman that was her companion said to her, right? That's exactly true. And when you come out, you'll be a mermaid. So it just, it was a great moment. And I really appreciated the inspiration because up to that point, I was going to do just a strictly plein air painting of the lake, which would have been beautiful, but this was just so much more creative and fun. So... I really enjoyed just having like a random spark of fantastical inspiration that honestly I don't have very often. I tend to paint a lot of realism, so it was just so delightful and such a like twist of fate kind of for such a fulfilling day to have that sudden spark of inspiration that al although it did not come from me, like it was just some random woman who said something not realizing what an inspiration it would be. It was funny, that actually happened to me later on in the day too. So when I got to the lake, I was hiking, and at one point I just sat, and I was looking out at the lake, and I, I don't know really what I looked like, but she stopped and said, are you okay? And I was like, 
yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing well. Um, and so she's like, okay, good. I just wanted to check, you know, if you're working something out, this is a really great place to do it. Almost magical. And that just hit me so hard because yeah, I'm working a lot of stuff out. Who isn't working stuff out? every day. <laughs> um, so it was just, it, it was so true. And there were so many great people at this park. I just, I was mind blown. <laughs> I had so much fun creating this piece of art because of all of the fantastic people that I, I didn't even meet. Like, I can't even say that I met um, all the fantastic people I encountered on this trip and just all of the amazing scenery and inspiration that I drew from this one day. It was just one simple day of a lot of really wholesome inspiration and a lot of just great artistic thought and um, honestly just those recharging moments where you're you know challenging your body challenging your mind challenging your creativity it was all of those things in one and I just cannot put a value on that that was that was so amazing and it was so much fun I'd love to know what you think of this illustration. Personally, although it's not amazing, I think that it came out exactly as I wanted and I am so happy with it, especially because I think it really captures like the depth of the scene and exactly what the woman put into words whilst I was kayaking. So mission accomplished and it was a lot of fun. When I was done painting, I hiked back to the main lake area and I got myself some lunch. I did end up buying a pretzel but I also ate all of the healthy fruit that I brought. And unbeknownst to me, I just got really inspired to continue on painting. So I pulled out my iPad and I decided to just do exactly a plein air sketch. So something that was in front of me that I could see that I could try to just really quickly get down on paper or, well, digitally in this case. <laughs> this isn't something I normally do and yet I still I just had so much fun with it. There was something about this day that was just really magical and whimsical and artistically freeing in a way. <laughs> Personally, although I don't think the results came out that well, um, I think that it achieved what I wanted and that was to capture this just stunning scene in front of me while I ate my lunch. It's amazing for the thousands of people here how quickly you can just escape people. <laughs> I love it. That is definitely a selling feature of this park. So having a great time. After lunch, I decided to go for another hike. There was a trail called the Lakeview Trail. And so I was really interested to follow it and see where it led. Along the way, I came across a new little friend. He was adorable. <laughs> and, well, then I got lost. In civilization? Huh. Interesting. Apparently I needed to cross the road. But this was called the Lake View Trail. And yet, at no point did the view open up to really view the lake from the higher altitude. So, I'm going to see where this leads. Somehow, I've managed to make it to the golf course. So, I'm guessing that the lake views that I saw were already the only lake views on this trail. So, I'm turning around. <laughs> Upon coming down from this trail, I decided that I had done more than enough hiking for the day and that it was time to say goodbye to this truly amazing place. Happily, I live close enough, so I will 100% definitely be back soon. All right, I am back home. As you can see in my office, um, it was a fantastic day. I am really excited. So now all I'm going to do is make some chicken quesadillas for dinner. I'm just going to stay home and chill tonight. I got to finish unpacking all my stuff from earlier. And then I might just start editing this video and or um, maybe doing another piece of art. We'll see.
all right guys that's gonna sign off this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if there are any activities that you'd like me to do in my next vlog if there's anything that you're interested in seeing about my life or anything like that <laughs> otherwise i will be sure to catch you guys in the next one please like this video if you liked it subscribe down below and hit that notification bell if you're interested in knowing when i post typically tuesdays <laughs> thank you guys so much i'll catch you in the next one bye